It's time for some good news for you here on this Friday. Junior in Barron County, three people were recognized for their leadership and dedication to both business and community service. Tiffany Somerville, Bobby Lee Hurt, and Bo Matthews were all among the recipients of this year's business awards. Somerville is the co-CEO of Spantech. She was awarded the Magnolia Award for her leadership skills in both professional endeavors and commitment to various civil initiatives. Hurt, the owner of Hurt Auto Sales, was awarded Small Business Person of the Year, and Barron Incorporated introduced its inaugural Lifetime Achievement Award to Matthews, the outgoing superintendent of Barron County Schools. All three will be officially honored at the Achievement in Business Awards luncheon on May 7th. Now take a look at this. The hard work of one Southern Indiana cat will make you smile, but it's also it also shows an important message for many pet owners. This is Ty, who was surrendered by his owners to the shelter in Evansville, Indiana. And know your eyes do not deceive you. He is swimming. Ty took his first ever swimming lesson at around seven weeks ago. He then weighed around 30 pounds, almost three times the size of an adult cat. The Aquatic Center usually only accepts dogs, but thanks to donations, Ty was able to get his workouts done. And some of the trainers say he's a natural. I think he actually likes it. Um, he protests a little when we first go down the ramp. <laughs> and then he's just all business. What a guy. Animal experts say this is a good reminder to make sure you are not overfeeding your pet because it could be seriously harmful to their health. But thanks to all the hard work, Ty has lost about five pounds, which translates to 15% of his body weight. Way to go, Ty. And don't worry, there's been a lot of requests already to give Ty a brand new home. Well, they better have a pool in their backyard, that's for sure. And a nurse in Madisonville got a special surprise after going above and beyond the line of duty to help a patient that she says a few months ago that she noticed one of her patients was not properly dressed to handle the cold weather. Instead of just looking the other way, Lou Colin says that she took her own shoes off of her feet to give away. Liz DeSantis has the story. It, it kind of reiterates that I'm in the right place in the right profession. When Lou Coulon came in for her shift as a nurse in the endoscopy unit on a cold day in February, I'll just go back down the hallway again. She had no idea she'd be leaving without her shoes. I came across this patient who I had noticed they had holes in their shoes and I had seen them before. We had taken care of them before and uh, they had been wearing the same shoes then. With ice on the ground and freezing temperatures, Kulan says she worried for the patient's safety. The laces were all shredded and the soles were torn up that you could see through the side. That's when Kulan decided to go above and beyond her job description, giving the patient the shoes that she had on her feet, the same ones she'd only just purchased for herself. You know, something was just nudging me and I I, I kind of heard heard the voice, hey, take off your shoes. It was really cold, and I knew that I did not have any more shoes, but uh, I just went and got some of those patient socks that have the, the non-grips. I put them over my socks. So I was like, oh, that'll get me to the car. Kulon has been a nurse at Baptist Health Deaconess Madisonville for six years. For eight years before that, she worked there as a housekeeper studying and learning everything she needed to know to be a good caretaker. The nurse's creed says that we will take care of those that are devoted to our care. So, you know, that's part of our profession is to seek and look and pay attention to the welfare of these patients and to meet the needs that we can while they're in our care. You truly love to see it. Well, it would seem one kind act sparked another. As it turns out, Brooks Footwear got wind of Kulon's kindness and actually sent her a voucher to purchase any pair that she wanted to replace the ones that she gave away. It all comes around again. Share your good news with us, and you just may see it right here on Midday Live. Submit your stories, your photos, and your videos at WBKO.com slash good news.